Hello everyone, welcome to Shadow of Judgment. For anyone new to my channel, this is where I look at the nooks, the crannies, the inside of the circle as well as outside of the four corners, if you will, of what's going on for your week. This is for the week of the 30th to the 5th, because I finally looked at my calendar and I was right. Anyway, um, we're going to see which sign we're doing next. We already got fire, we already got air, so it's between water and earth. Earth it is with the King of Pentacles. Earth signs, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And Jupiter, and Jupiter. I almost forgot. I knew I was forgetting one, but I couldn't remember. Check your chart, please. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it. It is just a card game after all. It won't work if you don't believe in it. Just boop on your nose and let's go. Right? Right. Also, if you want a personal reading, my email, Facebook, and Instagram are all down below in the description box. First reading is free of charge. The rest come with the price, of course, and they are down there as well. I also take tips and donations. Thank you very kindly in advance. Okay. Taurus, you're up first. We got the sun reverse as well as luck be a lady tonight. A young empress with the nine of pentacles, right? That's technically what it is, is a young empress. She's just starting out. She's training a bird to hold an apple on its head because she's that bitch, right? Ooh. It seems like your cups were spilled about something that you were being unhappy about, but like then you took your cups and became like the empress. So that's gravy so far. That's not too terribly bad for your week, Taurus. Looks like you're getting on the ball, though. Yeah, there was a lot of petty arguments, I guess. You healed your broken heart after a lot of meditations, I feel like. And you're using whatever happened to manifest whatever it is you're trying to create right now. Ooh. Oh, yeah, you're trying to open some fucking doors, dude. Look at you go. Yes. Ooh, Taurus, you're weak. Looks fantastic, but, you know, where the fuck did that come from? Where did that come from? Do you feel like there's some unfinished business still? Maybe even with the water sign who you're having issues with, who you had to heal from because they were a little immature with what they were doing or something. Um, you weren't happy, so you decided to end all this conflict, and I was like, help clear your mind a little bit so you can move to calmer waters, right? Now, you are sad about things that didn't go your way, but you are manifesting an open door with the universe. It's just, there might be some things that, you know, like, you still gotta go over a little bit in some shit, right? Two seconds. Like, there's definitely something that, uh, you are working on to create, because you do have that empress right there. You're definitely getting on the goals of what you want to get. It's just... Whatever it is you feel like is unfinished. Like that might be on your mind a little more than what you want it to be, I feel like. I don't know, something like that. Let's see, what is this world reverse anyway? What's this unfinished business you got? Well, first of all, it's got you in your head. Um, but you're trying to get your pentacles going, that's for sure. Um, you do feel like communicating possibly with an Aquarius, maybe. Maybe you feel bad because maybe you feel bad somewhere because you are getting somewhere, but it's like you don't have choices. Or the communication here um, is lacking because that was shit from the past, not now. That might what be that might be what. It, oh my god! If I could talk, that might be a hiccup in your endeavors, but more on a mental scale than anything. Like you have the mentality to move on from all this shit to this open door right here, no problem. It's just you might hang yourself up on what it is that might be bothering you. Take that into consideration, if you will, you know. 
Never hurts anyway, right? Right. Anyway. Virgo, it is your turn for your shadow today. Yay. It feels like it should already... It, this feels like, like... August is kind of feeling like January for some reason. I don't know why. It's just kind of like, you know. Um... It's just taking forever to get to September, it feels like. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't know why. It just feels like it's dragging and shit. Virgo, you got a cancer who's probably insane, or you feel like you're not getting anywhere. One of the two. That's your shadow so far. And, like, someone's just running towards it with, with some things to say. Someone's got some energy to just start some shit and then just start swinging in a mosh pit without any music going. Everyone's just standing there trying to eat a pretzel and beer. Everyone's trying to have a good time, chilling before the next thrasher comes in and then here comes one person just, you know, I got something to say! And then they just start, like, <laughs> flailing their arms and whacking the shit out of anybody who's in arm's reach a little bit, right? It's like they're, it's like... What a weird energy to have. Oh, God. And it seems to... Mm, it seems like... Okay. Capricorn's card, right? Sure, it's whatever. Doesn't really matter. Um, but I feel like this is more of like... A behavior somewhere. Like, someone comes in to say shit... So they can start some shit. That's what it feels like. And they, like they're demanding a payout when they come rushing in to say something from this one over here. It's almost like, um, hmm, that's odd. That is very interesting. Okay. Ah, that's a, ow, mm, mm, tower moment. Tower moment. This shit, that's not how, wow, okay. Virgo, what the hell? What are you doing? What are you witnessing in front of you? Because I feel like this is not you. This is somebody you've been dealing with. Like, and, it's, and you have been dealing with the water sign for sure, but like... Hmm. The queen's got her back to the tower, I feel like. Hmm. Oh, okay, Virgo. Your Jesus. Okay, Virgo. What's going on with your week, man? Because it's kind of intense. It is very, um, out there. Oh, out there, I will say. Okay. Um, shit. Okay, so, like I was saying before, there's, like, I feel like this is more of a behavioral thing that. Someone is either witnessing or they are dealing with this kind of energy, right? But it's like, there's all of this, like, chaos coming in. Like, somebody can't move forward. And instead of, actually, instead of moving forward, they're more, um, confrontational with the knight over here. In between with the, um, devil. Almost, like, linking the two, right? And it's like, this chariot card almost causes the tower that I feel like this queen of wands is going to ignore because she doesn't have like you know nobody's got time for that and that and that's her like a whole vibration with that it's like I don't even think that she's trying to be mean I mean she could be because she's pretty immature but it's like nah I ain't, I don't give a shit um which leads to like almost an excommunication or like Someone who is like Taurus's card of course there's also Libra Gemini Aquarius Cancer Capricorn um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, so you could be dealing with any of these signs predominantly, but it's like, um, she doesn't have time to witness the tower. And it's like, almost like this person who's in charge or whoever was an authority figure in this is just, you know, almost... Not excommunicated, but it's almost like they left. Like, this devil card right here talks about, which I'm feeling like more behaviors, it's like, what are you going to do about these behaviors? Or There's a lot of indecisiveness with this energy right here. <clears throat> 
But it's almost like there was a clarity moment and understanding why this person left? Like, is there, is there somebody coming in just to start some shit? They say shit in order to start this uh, back and forth kind of energy? And, and, and now that it it's not happening anymore, it's like somebody doesn't know what to do. And then it's like they get caught up in their own, like, Seven of Swords energy, not realizing it. Because this person, it's almost like this person isn't here, and it's almost like someone tried to... <clears throat> it's almost like somebody tried to replace somebody. And then they got an Eight of Swords right here. It's like those two together. So it's like, ah. What is with this um, Seven of Swords reverse energy? Because I can talk about... Um, coming for an apology, but it also talks about someone wasn't as um, skilled in their sneakery as they tried to be when they were a sneakster, doing all sorts of sneaky sneaks, right? Like this person might have thought they were too smart for their own good, but it's like they got caught up in shit. So I want to know what's up with that, Virgo. Like, I don't know what's going on in your week, but it's crazy. Yeah, you, uh, yeah you're watching this happen. Like, you're going inside to look at this, and it's just like, oh, my God. And you're looking over this right here. These, especially the Hierophant, where I feel like something's gone, or somebody left, or somebody in charge is no longer there. Um, someone could be stalling or acting like a martyr. You know, but in reality, was a control freak. Really didn't offer much of anything. Didn't offer their cup for sure. Now the wheel's turning on that, and that person, you know, um, might have did some naughty things that are coming back on them, and that's because that was fucking bad karma, right? Which is apparently like a mind drain, right? Now the rod may have been a judgment call made on an empress figure that was completely and utterly unbalanced or unfair. Could be dealing with Libra as well. Also, Aries and Taurus, but Taurus is already up here with the Empress card. Ah, someone might be trying to hold on to something a little bit too tightly, whatever it is they value. Correct? Correct. And, but they didn't offer anything of love to begin with. I guess they were hanging on thinking that they would get love. What? They're not offering love, but they're taking the action to move towards some booty. Like, why? If, I mean, if you don't love it, what the fuck is it? What? I mean, if you love the chase or whatever. Because that's what I always imagine that card being. Right? But then, boom! Eight of Swords energy. Like, they took the action, but they didn't have the heart in it. Huh. It's like someone wasted their time hanging on to something. Never put their heart into it, but now they want to put their action, but they want to take the actions to implement the shit, and that's what puts them in the Eight of Swords energy. Makes them want to reason the stick around. Realizing they did some shit to themselves. Because they want to be a control freak. That's what I got for your shadow, Virgo. I think you're watching something happen. Or you're watching a revelation happen to somebody that maybe they, I don't know, stuck their, their own foot in their mouth or like they just said something that was wrong or I don't know I don't know I think it's weird that like mm. it's like someone put somebody else in an uncomfortable position it wouldn't quit smacking them or something I don't know like someone just pushing buttons or some shit I don't know but that's yours Virgo. Capricorn! It is your turn for your weekly read. I have no idea what the fuck it was last week. Because I don't remember. It's been that kind of week. It's been a crazy week. Extremely crazy week. And it's like, like I just wish everything would fuck off a little bit because it just seems like everything is coming in. It's like, you go, man. You got to go. Ugh. Anyway, though. Let's see it. Capricorns. What is going on for your week? We got something that's working. Something did not work out, maybe between co-workers, 
maybe love affair or something because someone didn't want to offer their cup. They were kind of being a little bit of a pee. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces type, of course. Yeah, there's no point in waiting for it either. It's like it's like something isn't working out, so you're just cutting off. We got two threes right here, and someone's just not offering their cup for shit, or giggles or anything. Um, there is something from the past, like a pairing from the past that someone I feel like needs to walk away from. And, okay, here's this pair again. Someone doesn't have the love for it, but they are coming in for the action. They are trying to be passionate with you, which is like, what the fuck is the point if you didn't get the heart into it? If you're not going to put the heart into it, why are you even... It's like the... So, like, be careful what you wish for. You just, like, you just not get it. Someone's getting their wish. But the hubris is that something has to be cut off, Capricorn. And I think it's this person who's coming up to you, like, they're going to take some action to get that booty, but then you realize they're just doing it for the um, hunt. Like, they take action, but they don't have any, like, real conviction, I would say. Damn. It's kind of loud. Well, you don't have to be that quiet. There we go. That's better. Sounds like some Final Fantasy shit. I like it. I grew up playing that shit somewhat. Ah. Uh, this person doesn't want anything to end with you, and you're trying to get the fuck away from this shit so you get a break. That's funny. Ah, uh, not really. That's terrible, but you know. We laugh what, what we can laugh at. Your wish was to end all this conflict, but it's like the Hebrew says you have to end it at the same time. That's interesting. In order to get a new fucking cup, Capricorns. And you gotta break up with this person. You gotta separate. You gotta like, uh Yeah, I, 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 I totally agree with that, actually. Because I don't like how, the, I don't like where this person's going with their shit. That shit bothers me. Like, I don't like the fact that they're they don't have any love in the in their actions, but they're taking the action just to not end shit. You know, it's like, it, it, like you know, like I only want you when you're around, but when you're not around, I want everybody else. You know. And I know she loves me. She loves everybody. Da, 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 da. Uh, uh, I can't remember that. My sister introduced me to Chester French. Fucking awesome band. I like them. I need to look up if they got any new albums out, actually. But yeah, it, 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 okay, Capricorn's right here. It seems like nothing's working out in this situation. Kind of be with a work affair, uh, co workers, just the job in general. It's just like, nah, I gotta walk away from this shit despite the fact that I got memories and stuff. There's something I need to recover from, possibly from the past as well. Or maybe recover from the relationship itself uh, in order to start a new cup to come to you. But you got humorous in it. Like, you'd get your wish to end all the conflict, I feel like, that's going on with this work or some sort of like entanglement you got here where no one's really talking to each other or some shit or no one's really communicating. But the other side of that, the, the other edge of the sword is that you have to end things and that's like where it really comes into play because we got the six of cups. It's like, you love this person, but you know that you can't strangle people because that's illegal and you are a violent person anyway. You're just passive aggressive. Yeah. You'd rather just like not even play the game with this person anymore because it's like you need to fix yourself mentally a little bit. This person, on the other hand, is like... I don't like how shallow they are. I'll say that much. I don't like the shallowness. Like, that that bothers me, especially considering, like, there there's no love in their cup. Like, the... Like, the, like I just ordered the after tarot deck, and if... It, and I know in one of the images, this knight just drank his own cup. This dude's goddamn drunk. And then he wants to come over to get some shit, but he's not, like, he says, I love you, babies, I, I just want to see you, but he don't mean that shit. And it's like, he doesn't want anything to end, because he knows it's kind of like you're severing this shit out, right? I want to know why this person doesn't want the thing, this shit to end. Like, what's the point of, like, keeping the shit up? 
right? They want to come back in from the cold. We're all cold and lonely. Or at least that's what they're telling you. Because, you know, they, they might be a lying son of a bitch. That, they, that's all. They, they might be that way. They, they might be that way. They might not be that way, but it's not really for you. I feel like Capricorn. Um, <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, this is a Gemini's card, but it, like immediately it was like, you know, they didn't want you to make a choice. They don't want you to make a choice. Like you're selfish. They don't want you to end... They definitely don't want you to end things with them, and I don't think they want you to make any sort of decisions either. Um, Jesus Christ, this person... Like... Mm. On one side, they're selfish, and on the other side, they're a fucking psycho, so take your pick. You choose the selfish dick or the psychopath. Because I, I don't... I, I feel like they're just two different people. Like, yeah, I share counterparts, but it feels like they're two different people. It could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio you're dealing with for sure. And you feel like you need to keep your guard up against that. Yeah, okay, yeah. That would, that would be taxing on the mind too, Capricorn. Like, okay. All right, you know what? I'm, I'm spoiling us. Fuck it. Like, how are they going to try to... Like, they... Like, hmm... Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yep. Okay. Tower moment. So decision needs to be made from that, and you need to fight. You need to make a choice to fight this tower off, Capricorn. Just walk, walk away with your sanity. Don't no. Don't let that. No. Don't walk away from this proposal of love right here, or just wanting to stick around despite the fact that you're taking off for calmer waters because all those cups are fucking empty to begin with. This motherfucker has a cup empty to begin with. The king and the queen cups are empty. The only cup that is not really empty is the past and the future. Everything else is fucked up. Don't, like, uh, don't stick or uh, walk away from sticking around. Because whatever it is they do to try to get you to stick around, I feel like Capricorns this week. Um... It's for them, really. It, 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 it's not for you at all. They don't even think, they're not even thinking of you. They're just, it, it's, I don't know, it's weird. It's like they're so fucking shallow. I don't know. But, Earth Signs, that's your reading. So, if you guys enjoy this video, please like, share, and subscribe if that's what you want to do. No pressure from me, of course, but I would greatly appreciate it, right? But I will see you guys later. Love your faces. Take care and bye-bye.